Hello, my family. Good morning. Good afternoon. Depends on your time. Depends on where you are. God bless you. Yeah, the continuation of this, uh, stay away from violence. Don't allow yourself to be used by violence. Wow, that is the topic of today. Before I start, let me celebrate my family once again. I greet you all my returning subscribers. And if it's your first time coming across my video, God bless you. Please turn the notification bell so that whenever I upload my video, you'll be the first person to be notified. In this, my platform, I have a lot of things which I am doing. But today, major topic is what I really do here is marriage counseling. Yeah, I don't know it all. Same goes to you. We are all learning. I learn from people. I came here. I come here to share. That is what I do. I am not a perfect woman. I'm not a perfect human being. We are all learning on that each person. I'm learning. You are learning. Try and learn from me. Try and hear from me. Maybe one or two words can change your life. Yes, my brothers, my sister. Okay? Please, marriage is all about enjoyment, not endurance. Endurance is out of marriage when it comes to violence. Don't allow your man to beat you. You that call yourself a man, the day you raise your hand to beat a woman, you are no longer a man. You are a coward. Yes. According to my husband, he said, a man that raised his hand to beat a woman is an animal. He said, he's an animal. That is what he always called them. Please, my family, it's not a good thing. I was into such relationship before. Yeah. A lot of people have given testimony how they left such marriage, how they left such relationship. So you are not the first, neither the last. Instead of dying there, you don't need to lose your life because you are in marriage or because you don't want people to say or because, eh, am I going to survive? No, it's better go and do begging. You do begging to take care of yourself and your children. It's more better than you are dead. You leave those children in pain. It's too, it's too heavy for those children to, to bear. Those children, they cannot survive without you. So the reason you need to live for those children, pack your load and go. A man opening his mouth telling you, you don't have family, you don't have anybody. So therefore, if I kill you, nothing will happen. And you are still there happily, living in cold, living in sober, living in pretense that all is well. One day God will arrest him. God does not arrest people like that. God does not arrest people like that. I know the Bible condemned that voice. Yes, I've read that and I've listened and I've seen it in the Bible. But must you die because you don't want to be that voice? The answer is no, my family. Separate, leave that marriage before you die. Yes, leave that marriage before you die. If you don't have family, you don't have it, go to any place. If it's under the bridge, Church, anywhere, go and stay. Definitely, you must have a friend. Forget the education. Forget their qualification. Some men, they are not men. They are boys. You cannot marry a boy. That is, you cannot marry a boy and you'll be calling him a man. No. There are difference between man and boy. Some men, they are still boy. Even though they are 70s, they are still boy. They behave like a child. They behave like a boy. Please, if you know you are in that shoe, pack your load and leave. Before you will die. You have children because of your children. You want to die? Oh, when you are dead today, who is going to enjoy what you have been suffering for? Like the first part I said now. You are the one that bear the, the, the pain most. You carry this pregnancy for good nine months. After nine months, God hear your prayer. You deliver this baby. You breastfeed this baby. What did you do? You went through pains. And at the end of the day, just because you are in love, you are in pretending. I see a lot of women. Men will beat them. You will see their face swelling up. They will say, a uh, mistake I hit my face is a lie. Because they are afraid, they are ashamed to say. Because we always let people know that. We always let people know, no, no problem. Endure patience. No, marriage is not endure. It's enjoy. Go there and enjoy your marriage. Marriage is a paradise. You are a queen before the man. 
Your husband is a king before you. Whatever that happens, there is a way you can settle it. It's not by beating. For example, your children, when you beat them, they don't change. They still go there and do the same thing so that you will continue beating them. Same goes to you. There is nothing you will do that is going to make that man to see that whatever you are doing is good. No. Because you are a leader in a church, because you are a chorister, because you are the head of department, because you are this, and so what? If anybody wants to talk about you, it's not going to last long. Let them gossip you. After two months, they are tired of gossiping you. If they are weird you, if a man did such a thing and you don't have anything, just go. Enter the world. God must surely send you a helper. There is one lady which I know, then I was still a, a teenager. This marriage, it didn't work for her. She left. What was she doing? She started selling uh, banana at the, along the road at only her market in Bini City, Edo State. When she was selling it, people were laughing at her. After some time, they didn't laugh at her again. When I saw her last, she was using Jeep. If you see her shop now, how will she die in that marriage? Will she use that Jeep? Will she be enjoying what she's enjoying today? Got married there. Before you talk, they will, they will slap. They will carry bets. They will do this. They started doing that to me. That was how I ran. You don't live in a marriage pretending that all is well. And maybe one day God will hear. Who told you God will hear that kind of prayer? You marry a wrong man. Yes. A man that is beating a wife is a coward. What have you done? If he cannot manage you. Meaning he don't want calling your husband. Yes. A man is to guide his family. A man is to protect his family. You protect. If you cannot protect your family, you cannot own a company. You cannot guide people. You cannot lead anything. A prayer of a woman can lead a man to, to eternity. When a woman has a problem with a man, that marriage is, is not going anywhere. The man is frustrated. The woman is frustrated. Where there is no happiness, peace. How will you find joy there? You wake up in the morning, the other one will use his head to hit you. The other one will be cooking his own food. That is not marriage. A man will be insulting you in presence of your family, calling your family names, and you are still there? No. Please, my family. There are some pastors, they, they fail to do this work. They should tell us the truth. They should teach us. Even some pastors say they are even worse than these people. Some pastors, they beat their wives. Yeah. Some pastors beat their wife Because their wife to pastor, they will not say it. They will keep their mouth. They are, they are ashamed to say it in the public. All because they are sleeping with their chorister. All because they are committing adultery. Yes, because when a man is misbehaving, you know that he has something outside. When a woman is misbehaving, you know that he is seeing someone else. Yes, a woman does not misbehave when you are under a man. When you are under a man, sincerely, you will be calm. No matter what you are going through, you will bear it. Even though you want to cry, carry your bucket, cry inside. But God must surely hear your prayer. We should not misunderstood the word of God. Because some pastors have mis misled us. They, 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 they give us a wrong direction. Because they are into this game. They are doing it. So they don't talk about it. They don't preach about it. When a man coach a man about marriage, he will know. When I got married to my husband, his friend told my husband, no more outing. When you are going out, no more letting, lately home. He told my husband. That was how my husband ended. 
My husband normally goes with friends, but he stop. My husband normally goes with friends to drink, he stop. Yes. Because why? He listened to the advice. The kind of friends your husband is associating himself with will determine what the kind of man you are marrying. If your husband's friends, they are harlots, they are flatters, same goes to your husband because your husband is one of them. If your, fr your husband's friends, they are liars, your husband is the seventh person. So when you marry a husband that you know that is doing all these things or your friends that are doing all these things, if they are six in number, the sixth person is your husband. The seventh person is your husband. So that is why you need to know who you want to get married to. I love my husband so much because I know who he is. My husband can be jovial, he can be playing with you, but he doesn't go to that length of beating his wife, raising his hand to hit a wife, to beat his wife. I mean, so this marriage for many years now, never, never. We can have arguments. We can have some issue. The way we are going to settle is you will not understand. Jokingly, any other way, we do it and it, it doesn't end with beating. Why will you beat your wife? Your wife is under you. You are the one to control her. You are the one to control her emotion. When she is hot, you bring her down. All women, they are the same. There is no perfect man. There is no perfect woman. Yeah, you need to build your wife. You need to bring her to your taste. If your wife is the one that is look dirty, honey, you have not taken your bath, go to the bedroom, go and bath. She will go. Gradually, she will learn how to do that. If your wife is the one that doesn't know how to make up, honey, why is it that you don't make up? I like women that make up. Really, she will be learning it before you know she's perfect. I've done that video before. I don't know how to make up. It's my husband that taught me how to make up. My husband loves people, love ladies that make up. One day he called me. He said, why you, you don't do those things? That is those things that they, 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 they are those things that attract me to you. I say, huh? But I'm married now. He said, ah, so what? When you get married, does it mean that you shouldn't look nice? Shouldn't look good? You see the hair I'm using now. See the color. It's my husband that bought it. Whatever he sees, outside that he cherish he buy it for me you see this earring everything he's the one doing it i am proud to say it well you cannot marry your enemy as a husband no don't marry a man because of his answerness or because of his pocket or because of what he has marry a man for who he is okay god bless you and if this word i have shared here it makes sense to you and you love it my brother my sister Make some comments and share this video. Let it go virus because we are tired of losing people. We are tired of hearing murdering case and domestic violence. No, not on this surface of this earth. It's no good. Share me out, okay? God bless you. Bye and have a wonderful day. Bye.